Hey everybody, Dolphin Oracle back again, back with the Antics Core install in my VirtualBox virtual machine and with the aim towards building a custom distribution. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with the distribution is I'm going to update the Antics Core kernel. Now, if you are into having the free software association GNU kernel type kernel where you don't get any proprietary anything firmware drivers or otherwise all by all means stick with this kernel uh, depending on the system it may work fine for you it, it works fine on my desktop machine it works fine on my netbook actually uh, my uh, e EPC netbook uh, doesn't work very well on my uh, HP laptop it, it has things in it that the kernel doesn't support so uh, we're going to uh, we're going, yeah, we're going to go ahead and first I'm going to update the kernel so that I can uh, uh, to some, something that a kernel that I'm familiar with rather than the the GNU kernel so the way we're going to do that is we are going to first we're going to check what sources are enabled so uh, as root you're going to go SU then your root password I'm going to go nano access etc now the app sources are stored in slash in etc slash apt slash sources.list.d and if you wonder how to type that so fast I just hit the tab button a lot of times you type the first few letters of, of what you're looking for hit tab bam you don't have to do it all you, it fills in the closest thing sources.list and it's in debian.list as you can see we're in the nano text editor and despite what in the last video we heard that the uh, that the annex core was brought to you by Debian testing if we look down here we'll see that in fact, the Debian stable repositories are enabled by default. Um, uh, is not by testing. If you want to do testing, you can do that. We can come up here and you can comment it out up here and get the testing repositories. Where are you going to get with testing? Well, you're going to get mm, somewhat newer software. Uh, you're going to get a lot more updates because testing isn't final. It's it's testing. That's what it means. It's they're testing out software for their next final distribution. Is it usually pretty stable? Yes. Is it always pretty stable? No. Uh, some things may break from time to time. But just for fun, just for kicks, I'm going to go ahead and do Debian testing because I figure if you're going into the adventurous world of building your own um, version of Annex, then you might as well get the most up-to-date software possible. Okay. Testing is also usually the default for Antix, and in the next release of Antix 13.5, I believe, uh, it will be back to that version will be based on testing. 13.2 will still be available as a stable. Um, so, at any rate, so we have that. Uh, I recommend not enabling uh, multimedia, the multimedia repos down here unless you absolutely have to, because they tend to break things from the rest of the from the other repos. All right, so Control X will get us the exit menu. It'll say, "Do you want to save it?" Yes, to save. There's the file name, and we're done. Okay, so now we need to update our sources. Get update. Since we changed sources, we need to update them. So uh, you can see it's pulling down all the testing repos. Now I should say I have a 32-bit version. The process is more or less the same as 60. If you're using the 64-bit, just use get your own. Uh, it just make sure to to grab uh, the 64-bit kernel if you update your kernel. Okay, so now we're up to date. We can do now. We can, we can go grab our new kernel, and the kernel I'm looking for. I'm going to get a kernel that I know. I'm going to get. Um, actually, I'm going to get one of the newer kernels that Annie just put up not too long ago, and that's going to be 3.11.5 Annex. Now what we can do, if you need to search for your own kernel, is you can type amp cache search and then antics and kernel. And it will give you a list of all the kernels available. Now that looks like a lot, uh, uh, but it's actually not. Uh, it, depending on your console resolution, it may look like a neater list. It's kind of all crammed together here on mine but what you're going to want you're going to want to type uh, if you're installing the kernel I'm installing you're going to want to type apt 
Oh, I should mention that if you need to scroll through the list, that was a lot of text that went by, right? If you need to scroll the list, you can use shift and page up to scroll up and down, page up and page down to scroll up and down the terminal output that would just scroll by. Okay, you see a lot of these lines kind of overlap from line to line. 3.11 is up near the top. 3.11.5.1. That's it right there. And I'm getting the antics version, not the GNU version. So I'm going to type apt dash get install. And it's Linux image testing tab. Helps out a lot here. 3.11 point and it's five annex and then it fills in the rest of the gaps. I'm also going to get the headers. Linux headers dash and they match the um, the naming convention for the for the image itself. The, the image is all you need to boot. If you want to compile software later or sometimes install kernel modules you need the headers. So we're going to say okay we got those we'll say okay go. It's going to tell us it's going to download them. It's going to take a while to download, so I'm going to pause. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, we're back. Everything's updated. We're all... Our images are all there. Well, except for one more thing. Our grub menu has not been updated, so we need to type update grub. It's going to find the kernels and create menu entries for it. Now, to make that new kernel the default, we're going to go into our menu. So it's nano slash boot slash grub slash menu dot lst. Remember hitting tab auto completes. Okay and you can see this this first entry here title antics this is the normal default entry. I'm going to comment it out. And the other entries, the new entries are generated down at the bottom. So now this entry here will be the new default, and you can see it's the new kernel that we just installed, 3.11.5. I, however, am going to change the title line to say antics. Control X to exit, say save the buffer, say yes to save. Boom, we're done. Now when we reboot, the new kernel will be in the menu entry, the grub menu entry. And here we are. We see now we have multiple options. And you see that our antics here is the one we just edited. And it is booting into our new kernel. You may want to add the kernel switch quiet to the line to along the screen. It won't affect the boot time. It just affects how much it actually puts on the screen. I put in the wrong name. And there we are. And if you type in u name slash r, it will tell you the current kernel in use and it's the non free kernel. Okay, for tips, tricks, how to's, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.